Good morning once again. And welcome to the 50th bell ringing ceremony for Zensa Technologies. Indeed, it's a very proud moment for all of us. May I request all our guests to please join us on the dais. Dr. Ganesh Natarajan, Vice Chairman and CEO, Zensa Technologies. Mr. S. Balasubramaniam, Chief Financial Officer, Zensa Technologies. Mr. Ajay Bhandari, Chief Corporate Development Officer, Zensa Technologies. Ms. Pramila Kaliwe, Zensa, Senior Vice President, Zensa Technologies. Mr. Nilesh Limay, Head Legal and Company Secretary, Zensa Technologies. And uh, Mr. Ashish Kumar Chauhan, MD and CEO, BSC. And to the audience, thank you for making the time to be here today. We typically start all um, auspicious occasions with the lighting of the lamp. Um, indeed, this is one of those most important ones for us particularly. Uh, may I request our guests to please uh, start, begin the occasion with the lighting of the lamp, please. May I request our uh, uh, BSC CEO and Chairman to please come ahead, uh, Mr. Ashish Kumar Johan, to welcome the, the address. Uh, good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to welcome Dr. Ganesh Natarajan, Vice Chairman and Managing Director, Zensa Technologies, uh, Mr. Bala Subramaniam, CFO, Zensa Technologies. Mr. Ajay Bhandari, Chief Corporate Development Officer, Zensa Technologies. Mr. Uh, Ms. Uh, Pramila Kaliwe, Senior Vice President, Zensa Technologies. Nilesh Limaye, Head Legal and Company Secretary. Harish Mehta, friends, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure and honor to be uh, here speaking on this auspicious occasion of 50th bell ringing ceremony of Zensa Technologies. Uh, for me, these are small little celebrations of Indian entrepreneurship, Indian wealth creation that started in 1875. BSC is now going to enter into 140th year of its existence uh, sometime in June this year. And for me, uh, BSC has done a great job of helping nation create $1.2 trillion of wealth. I'm sure it's going to increase many fold in next decade or so. Uh, but more importantly, who has created the wealth is companies like Zensar, who have actually worked with the investors and ensured that they get returns for the investments they have made. Uh, celebrating these small little events, uh, we respect, we pay our respect to the companies, we ensure that the companies know that VSC uh, really appreciates the hard work you guys are putting in. Uh, the second part is the flexibility, that many, not many companies in India are 50 year old. In fact, I was told Zensar is uh, almost 92 year old. It was set up in 1922. So 
Uh, in some sense, it'll be completing 100 years probably in next decade. And it's a great achievement. Uh, congratulations on uh, being there for so long. <laughs> the flexibility is what matters. I'm sure Zensar would have changed their businesses many times over. And going forward, they will continue to do that. And that's where basically every Indian entrepreneur has to learn from Zensar. The third part is the speed. Speed is of utmost importance. BSC itself is 140 year old and it has seen many ups and downs. Uh, in last month itself, uh, for 20 years, from 94 to 2014, BSC was a slower exchange. In 94, when automation started of the exchanges, BSC in this hall, trading used to happen. Around 2,000 people used to trade. You can see the photograph on that wall. And you could see the, or hear the noise from Churchgate Station. Today, it is basically a convention hall. And it was always slow from 1994 till 2014. First 20 years of automation in India brought huge misery to BSC. In next 20 years, BSC will be the fastest exchange in India. This year, in 2014, we have basically implemented technology which gives us a response time of 200 microseconds. A second has around uh, 10 lakh microseconds and we give response time in 200 microseconds uh, for 500,000 orders a second. Uh, it's one of the largest systems of its kind in the world with that speed. Uh, we are going to take it, this is just the beginning, we are going to take it to 20 microseconds in next three years. We are now several times faster than any competition in the country and we believe in our business, speed is what matters. The first bird gets the worm and that's where uh, we think Slowly, uh, BSC will start coming up. Uh, our members, our companies who have now started showing en more enthusiasm coming to BSC is what actually gives us that confidence that BSC is doing something right. It's a significant occasion for Gensa Technologies for having completed 50 years of its successful journey with BSC. Zensa is a technology partner for many organizations globally who are looking to strategically transform, grow, and lead in today's challenging business. Uh, with the footprint in more than 20 global locations, Zensar, com Zensar's comprehensive range of software services and solutions enable its 400 plus forward looking customers to cross new thresholds of business performance every day. The exceptional service capabilities and industry leading solutions of Zensar have been recognized resulting in the company bagging prestigious awards in areas such as R&D, people practices, CSR programs, sustainability initiatives, etc. BSE has had a long and affable professional relationship with Zensar and I must appreciate their commitment towards the exchange. I would like to extend my best wishes to the Zensar group and its entire team on this momentous occasion and wish them all the success in its future endeavors. Thank you very much for coming in the morning. Thank you, sir. Clearly, my excitement is right ahead of me, so apologies for the uh, error in the designation, though. Sorry. Um, I would like to now invite Dr. Ganesh Natarajan, CEO of Zensa Technologies, to please come and address the gathering. Thank you. Mr. Ashish Kumar Chawan, um, um, MD and CEO of Bombay Stock Exchange, my mentor and founder of NASCOM, Mr. Harish Mehta, my colleagues from Zensar, members of the Bombay Stock Exchange, ladies and gentlemen. It is an absolute privilege for us and me personally to be standing here in front of you because the longevity of an organization is important, but I think the relationships we've had with entities like the Bombay Stock Exchange make us particularly proud. In fact, my belief is that we are part of an industry which is spearheaded by NASCOM, which has grown beyond all expectations, beyond all possibilities in the last 20 years. And for a company like Zensar, it's a privilege to be part of that too. If you look at the story of Zensar, and I'll be very brief, I think from 1922 till the 80s, we were primarily not really in computers. It was really tabulating machines, et cetera. In the 80s, we became the largest manufacturer of computer hardware in the country in the name of ICIM. At some point, it became Fujitsu ICIM, which it was actually trading under FICIM, which was the symbol. And it's only since 2000 that we became a software company. And I have been leading the company for 13 years, since 2001. And I think we're very proud to report that every year we've reported not only increases in revenues and profits, but I think we have rewarded the shareholders exceptionally. Not only has the growth been good, the EPS growth has been excellent, 
And most important, I think even the dividend record of the company has been substantially changing every year, and we intend to keep it that way. So it has been an amazing track record of collaborative success. We've enjoyed great support from NASCOM, great support from the Stock Exchange, and great support from each one of you. And as the industry moves on, as most of you would be aware, today our industry is largely export-oriented, and most of our export customers are looking at the Indian software industry not only to support their existing infrastructure, BSE itself is an example of amazing implementation of information technology, but looking at the future, and the future is all about cloud and social media and analytics, and Zensar, as always, intends to be one of the leaders in this new revolution, what we call the systems of engagement with new customers, with new supply chain partners, and everything else. I think we will continue to have a great relationship with the stock exchanges, Bombay Stock Exchange, is an institution that all of us are proud of in this country, and we look forward to your continuing support to make this happen. So thank you very much. May I now request uh, Mr. Ashish Kumar Chauhan to please present a memento to Dr. Ganesh Natarajan. May I request Dr. Ganesh Natarajan to present a memento to, the, to Mr. Ashish Kumar Chauhan. I now request S. Balasubram, CFO, uh, Zensa Technologies, to please come and address the audience. Thank you, Janki. And morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of all my colleagues on the dais here, and also the 7,000 Zensarians worldwide, it's been our privilege to have been present here on this historic occasion in our journey as a listed company of the Bombay Stock Exchange. We thank you for organizing this function. It's a very special moment for us, all of us personally and for our company. And we would look forward to this moment with a rare sense of personal joy. And we thank you very much for organizing this function for us especially. Thank you. May I request Mr. Ajay Bandari to please address the audience. For those of you who, who don't know much about Zensar, I thought I'd just give you a brief about Zensar. Zensar is a $400 million organization. Uh, we've been in, like Ganesh mentioned, in existence for a very long time. But in our software avatar, we've been in existence for around 13 years. And uh, we do a lot of work in general in IT, but we do specifically work in the manufacturing, retail, and insurance verticals. And we, we help Fortune 500 companies globally, largely in the manufacturing, high-tech, uh, retail and insurance space. So roughly 65% of our revenues comes from there. And uh, we look forward to, uh, to growing at a very frenetic pace. Uh, we've grown above you know, the industry average for the last many, many years, for the last eight to 10 years. And uh, we intend to keep that pace going over the next 20 years as well. Thank you so much. I request all our guests to please move towards the gong. Ten.
Please join in to the countdown now. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Thank you, everyone. Uh, may I request the entire audience to please join us for breakfast? Thank you once again for being here. Thank you.